Greetings. Hello, everyone at the Limitless Space Institute. Uh, I'm NASA astronaut Victor Glover, and it is a pleasure to be able to address you uh, for this event. Uh, congratulations to all of the I Squared grant winners and greetings to all the board of directors and board of advisors. It is a pleasure to be able to, to address you. Uh, I recently have the pleasure of, of uh, coming home from the International Space Station on May 2nd of 2021, uh, the Crew Crew One and our SpaceX Crew Dragon that we named Resilience. We landed in the Gulf of Mexico after spending 167 days and, and a few hours in low Earth orbit, uh, most of that working uh, and living on the International Space Station. It was truly a privilege. We were able to conduct hundreds of science experiments supporting things that have been going on for decades uh, and, and, and the science and, and technology that enables humans to, to live and to thrive in low low Earth orbit, and it was truly an amazing experience. We were able to conduct five spacewalks as a crew. I, I was able to go out the door on four of those, and it was an amazing experience. And we also had the unique privilege of flying a new spacecraft, SpaceX's Crew Dragon, to the International Space Station, as well as home, back to Earth. Uh, and it performed amazing. It was such an amazing ride up and back. Uh, and and to, to now be able to address you and, and the lofty goals that you have of of inspiring and educating the next generation to travel beyond our solar system and to support research and development uh, and technologies that enable interstellar human space exploration. Wow, what, what, a, what an idea. I mean, to live in space, it really was amazing to be able to look out and to see Earth. Uh, and, but you know, to, to, to be in low Earth orbit, you could never see the entire globe, the entire ball, like you could if you were in orbit around the moon, say. And so to think now about taking the next giant leap and going into interstellar space, I, I, I can't help but to think about the title. You know, we, we hear the term astronaut all the time. Uh, and astronaut actually means star sailor. And as a, a naval officer and, and naval aviator, I think sailing and, and, and what it means to be able to travel through our global commons, the oceans of Earth, uh, and how meaningful that has been to be able to sail the oceans of space and to travel to another system that uh, is centered around some other star. Alpha Centauri, that three star cluster is four light years away, just over four light years away. And so to be able to finally realize that title of being a star sailor, I think you have to be able to at least travel between one star and another. And so that would really be amazing to, to have humans to be able to traverse those spaces. And so it's gonna take revolutionary ideas. It's gonna take ingenuity. It's gonna take looking beyond the horizon of what we can see and do today, the state of the practice and making something completely revolutionary that is the state of the art and becomes the eventual state of the practice. And so that's gonna take all of us working together, doing the best that we can with the people that we have next to us, to our left and right and in front and behind and making that group work the best that they can together to accomplish such a lofty goal. That's amazing. And I wish you the best as you go out and inspire but also as you work together internally to take care of all the logistics, the financing, the budgeting, the, the paperwork, there's so many things that come together to make all of these things possible at every level. And so I encourage you to keep it up and I look forward to reading amazing things about what you have done to inspire the next generation to look up and to believe in themselves, to work hard together and to change human space exploration for the future. Thank you.